All right, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. I'm excited to come your way this very late hour, late afternoon, right? In Europe and Africa, it's late afternoon. But here in Southeast Asia, we are after 9 p.m. It's about 9.35 p.m. here. Well, 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 this is a very special edition. Like I promise you, I will be coming your way with my predicted lineup. And that is why I'm here. It's Chelsea Aston Villa. Whatever it is, tonight is Chelsea's night. We are to grab the point. The fourth round of the FA Cup. Fourth round FA Cup. Yes. And we are ready. Are you ready? Chelsea fans, are you ready? I am ready. And I'm excited about it because you know what? We are in the finals of the Carabao Cup. Wembley, right? It will be more exciting if we are to add the FA Cup finals. To this it doesn't matter look if we are to win the two <coughs> i'm sorry we need the two calves this season will be great it will be great for our trophy cabinet it will be exciting let those who want to carry the champions league and the, the league cup right let them the, let them carry it we let have the carabao cup and the fa cup we will get to europe and that is very, very important for Chelsea in this season. Hey, in, in any case, I am not giving up hope on we getting to Champions League. It's still possible. First half of the season, some teams are ahead of us. This second half, we can also catch up with them. I believe that. Yes, I believe that. That Chelsea can still catch up and get through to the Europe, European League, your Champions League next season. It is still possible. Many teams, teams can still flop. Especially those that are playing the Champions League, they can still fall by the side. Don't ever give up hope. It is possible. More, more so when we have our players back from injury and they are all up and doing. You see, if you watch last game against Middlesbrough, you notice one thing. Our defense was more stable. The defense was more stable. Why? Because we have Ben Chiwell back at that left back position. We have Levi Cowell playing the center back position. Now we had the Disassi. Disassi we have there. He did extremely well. Then we had the Rock, Thiago Silva, running the, the center of the defense as well, alongside Levi Cowell. It is very important we have our players' feet, then they can play in their rightful positions. Now, assuming we have Nkuku feet now, we have Romeo Lavia feet, and they are all available. Resume's feet. We have uh, uh, Malogusto feet. We will be able to move forward as, you know, we'll be solid in that defense and in attack. All that Chelsea need right now is a strike, I keep saying. But let Nkuku come back and be fit and let's see what will happen. Let Romeo Lavia be fit and let's see what will happen. These are the challenges we are facing currently. Nonetheless, the players we have right now, I believe in the next four weeks, we will move forward. We are now on the ninth position. Aston Villa is on the fourth place, fourth position on the league table. We can catch up. We can catch up. Tonight, we need to send a strong signal to Liverpool in our next game. Our next game is against Liverpool. And tonight's game, we need to send a strong signal. Chelsea fans, let me hear from you out there. Wherever you are, let me know where you are and what you think. Tonight, I believe, is a night to send a strong signal that, yes, we are back and we are determined. In this second half of the season, we are back and we are determined to take our rightful place. Well, before I go to my team lineup and prediction, quickly, Crystal Palace agree on deal to sign Daniel Monos from Jeng. Done and set to be sealed. He is traveling to London today in order to undergo medical tests. Fee will be 10 million euro add-ons included. Also, sell-on clause will be part of the package. Sell-on clause will be part of the package, according to the sources that we have. Bob Fesson, yeah, here we go. Fabrizio Romano, here we go. All right. A little bit of news from Barcelona. <clears throat> As we are aware, there has been turmoil in Barcelona. The Barcelona that we knew, we knew back then, it's not the same Barcelona today. A lot is happening there. 
Jose Mourinho traveling to Spain last week. There were he, he news here and there that Jose was going to take over in the battle. I, I, for me, deep within my heart, I knew you, there's no need how Jose Mourinho would take Barcelona job. Never. Never. He, can, he will never do it. No matter how much they put on the table. Now, journalists have been asking Xavi questions regarding his position. This is what he has to say about his future. He said, the board tells me to forget about living. He said, the board of Barcelona, it tells him to forget about living, that they are not prepared to sack him. They are not ready to sack him. He should also forget about living. He said, they are happy with the project. Also, the president is proud, and we are already talking regarding things about next season with Deco. Rumors about my continuity are there since August, and I'm still, I'm still here, according to Xavi with Barcelona. We are in the transfer market, so I'll have to let you know what is happening around. All right? And he continued. He said, I am calm about my future. I have been here for two and a half years now. I have less than more left. I have less than more left. <laughs> he said, Pep Guardiola was here for four years. Luis Enrique for three years. There will come a point where I will have to leave. Rest assured. Rest assured. There will have to come a time where I will leave. Rest assured. That is from who? Javi with Barcelona. All right? Okay. Now back to Chelsea. One from our women's league. Before I go to the predicted lineup. One from our women's before I go to the predicted lineup. Yes, I have not been speaking much about whether I do, I've not been talking about women's league, right? Chelsea women, Chelsea ladies. I don't talk about them. Well, there's a great news. Chelsea ladies, official. Chelsea have signed Lavante striker Myra Ramirez. And she said, she made a statement after signing when they, she was being outdoored. She said, I'm very honored to be part of Chelsea. To be part of such a huge club is a dream come true. And I have had since I was a little girl. It's a dream I have had since I was a little girl. It could be a world record 400k plus deal if add-ons are met. Whoa. So we have signed a striker. We, we, we are talking about striker, striker, right? The ladies got their own striker. What about the men? The ladies got their own striker. Well, 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 well. Back to the main issue, why I'm here. Yes, predicted lineup. Starting with Thiago Silva, center back. Levi Cowell, center back. Ben Tewell, left back. Asadi Sassi, right back. In my midfield. Moise Casaido. Alongside Konogalaga, double pivot. Enzo Fernandez, three at the midfield. Moisca Saido, Konogalaga, Enzo Fernandez. Remember, Konogalaga was rested at midweek. So I'm, I, I'm, very, I'm pretty much sure you start tonight's game. In attack, my left flank. I will still go for Moidrick instead of Sterling. This is a very tricky game. I will still put my faith in, in Moidrick on the left. On my right, I want to do something that many people will disagree with. I will use Noni Madweke on my right. Yeah. And I will play Palmer on the number 10 row. Palmer on number 10 row. <laughs> My dear friend, no. Let me take it again for you. In defense, I am going straight away with the Sassi right left back, Thiago Silva and Levi Cowell, right? Then Ben Chiwell. That is four, right? Okay. In midfield, 
I will go for Casaido, and I will go for Conor Gallagher, and I will go for Enzo Fernandez in midfield. Now, in front, in front, I will, you know what I'm going to be doing? I will go for Moidrick on the left flank. I'll go for Kanichuko America on the right. And I will give number 10 row to who? Kopama and Amando Bro will head the attack. So it's Kopama, Amando Bro. No, I'm making a mistake, right? I am making a mistake. I, Kopama will head the attack. Means that he'll be playing false nine. False nine. Kopama is playing false nine. Sorry. Kopama is playing false nine. Do you get it? False nine. Then Moedric on the left. Kanichuko Emeka on the right. Enzo Fernandez. Moise Casaido and Gallagher. In defense, I have Bisasi, Thiago Silva, Levi Cowell, Ben Chiwell. And then the, the, the goalkeeper is who? Petrovic. Yes. That is my predicted lineup. Predicted lineup. Thiago Silva, Levi Cowell, De Sassi, Ben Chiwell, defense. Midfield, Casaido, Conor Gallagher, and Enzo at midfield. In attack, Moidrick, Kanichuko Emeka. Uh, uh, Kopama as a false nine, then my goalkeeper will be Petrovic. My predicted line, my predicted goal for tonight is going to be 2 1. Chelsea will win the, win the game by two goals to one. Two goals to one. That is my scoreline prediction. Don't be confused about it. I think I made it more clearer for you now. I will see you immediately after the game for my post match reaction. Shalom and peace.